tonight on Cheap Seats. Smell my pets, Hawaii. Awesome. Let's take a look back and see what happened. Ah! Oh! Radical. You look great. It's been too long. Look out, camera. Oh, God. Everybody, welcome to Cheap Seats. Now, today, modern science tells us that everything associated with the sun is evil. Sunburn, sunstroke, sunny delight. Well, guess what? We here at Cheap Seats laugh in the face of science. <laughs> Cheap Seats scientists, everybody. Hi, Cheap Seats scientists. Yeah. We give him a hard time. But thank God he's on staff. That was fun, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Sure. Speaking of fun... And the sun. That's what today's show is all about. Fun and the sun. Now, we've got windsurfing and then skateboarding. Two things that Tom Green suddenly has a lot more time to do. <laughs> now, before we get to the action, here's what we want you to look for. Here's what to look for. Here's what to look for. Please take note of windsurfing's bizarre choice of its host, Olympic gymnast Bart Connor. What? Was Mitch Gaylord out on a press junket for American Anthem? Bart Connor hosting windsurfing makes about as much sense as Suge Knight hosting the Kids' Choice Awards. <laughs> Is that Chewbacca up there? <laughs> Did he win an award? No, I think he was just presenting. All right. In the immortal words of Jeff Spicoli, to answer our host, Jude Law is one of our most treasured actors. In other words, it's time to hang eight and a half on windsurfing on Cheap Sea. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hawaiian Islands and the spectacular island of Oahu for the OP International Sailboard. You down with OP? Yeah, you know me. The top professional sailboarders from around the world are gathered here at the foot of Hawaii's most famous landmark. It takes place on Don Ho's foot. Tiki Dell, look out. Better get that thing back to Vincent Price or people are going to go down. Prize money and the International Sailboard Championship crown. Hello, everyone. I'm Bart Connor, your host for this year's... Of course, event. because when I think of windsurfing, I think of gymnastics' own Bart Connor. It's a very, very interesting situation. Why are their names written on a treble clef? ...off the Diamond Head shores, and at the same time, very, very challenging wave conditions. Angus, of course, you're a professional board sailor and author of the best-selling book on... This guy's a best-selling author? What'd he write? Oh. We'll be seeing the best male and female board sailors in the world attempt... And lots of early-stage skin cancer. ...high-tech, state-of-the-art equipment. You no, know, I've always appreciated in sailboarding the fact that you can go out and relax. They couldn't afford two mics for these guys? They couldn't afford one ESPN mic flag, so no. Yeah, well, for these board sailors, a comp competition at Diamond Head is just another day at the office. They're all... Let's go back and see that again. These board sailors... Why is Bart nodding his head yes? Angus said nothing that required affirmation. $30,000 in prize money. It'll be intense. Hilarious. The waves and wind are perfect. Does she have a pack of Marlboros rolled up in there? Angus, That's the same font they used on the old San Diego Padres uniforms. The conditions are wild. This could be fantastic. I want to believe you, Bart. I really do. Teammates in this competition, both sailing for the same board manufacturer, miss both complete all-round sailors, and they know Diamond Head intimately. It's going to be... Take off your iPod, Angus. You're on camera. So hungry to win this competition. And this is really a first good chance to look at... Listen Robbie. to Bart's voice. I half expect him to tell us to follow the yellow brick road. Yeah, how many times can you take a horse to the groin before it starts to affect you permanently? Oh! Here's Cabrina. He's on the outside looking for some air. No, seriously, he needs some air. He's drowning in that wave, dude. Yep. What did we say about giving the tiki doll back to Vincent Price? Idiots. Do you want to wake up with a tarantula in your bed? Do you? A couple of days ago, I had the pretty rough responsibility of hosting the Miss O.P. Hawaii beauty pageant. Hosting anything is pretty rough for you, isn't it, Bart? Let's take a look back and see what happened. She's a giant. She'll kill us all! Smell my pets, Hawaii. Mustn't ever move arms. That looks comfortable. And turn and lean in. They're just hanging out. Yeah, that doesn't seem staged at all. The Hawaiian Islands are filled with beautiful women. None of whom participated in this event. It's not going to be an easy task. 
Pick her. There, you're done. It's easy. Good old SpectraVision. Madonna's Dress You Up? It's a bikini contest. Nobody's getting dressed up at all. Riptide. Undercurrent. Undercurrent. This is like that scene in Awakenings. Only sadder. I can't believe that two nerds made this woman with their computer. Okay, could that beauty pageant have been any more tacked on? I mean, they clearly felt like they were losing their viewership and they needed to win them back by any means necessary. I don't know about that, Rand. I mean, how do you know they didn't go out there to shoot a beauty pageant? Then some windsurfing broke out, so they started shooting that, too. Because it's ESPN, a sports network. Yeah, a sports network that shows Scrabble. You're wrong. Okay, you're wrong. You are so you're wrong. wrong. You couldn't be you're wrong. Not listening you're not listening to me! Here! Thank yeah, you! Yeah, who cares why they were there? What's wrong with a bikini contest? In fact, if I was in charge of the world, a commissioner of all sports, Sports, there would be a bikini contest at every sports event. There would be one of the Jacksons pulling her. Coat. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? Here. You know what? You are crazier than Terrell Owens is. I'm ashamed of you. Sports are far too sacred, far too important to be interrupted by scantily clad babes. Are you kidding do? me? You probably read only one issue of Sports Illustrated a year, the swimsuit issue. No, that is so nice. Okay. You know what? You, you know, know what? what? When you bring it up like that, I actually see You're right. You're right. Why can't we both be right? All right. More cheap seats after this. Hey, 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 hey. Now, before we get back to the beauty pageant, I still have some questions about how you score windsurfing. I mean, is it a race? Do you get style points? How do you do it? It's pretty straightforward, if you ask me. <laughs> rabbi Mark Shallowitz, the windsurfing rabbi? What are you doing here? I'm coming over to talk to you. <laughs> Boy, chick, look at you. You look great. It's been too long. I am here to explain the scoring system of windsurfing. It's actually quite simple. First, you take the size of the wave, divided by the wind speed, multiplied by whether the windsurfer is jibbing, doing one-legged back loops, willy skippers, or Vulcans. Not the ones from Star Trek. I know what these two trekkies are thinking. <laughs> or whether you're going down the rail, or over the rail, or up the rail, or ripping goiters. <laughs> well, when you explain it that way, it makes a whole lot of sense. Thank you, Rabbi. Well, it's no problem. I'm here to help. I can't believe the way you look, you two. You look wonderful, all healthy and shiny. <laughs> well, uh, if that's uh, enough, uh, anything else you need, no? Yeah, we're set? good. No, right. we're good. Well, I, I do have to go. I have tickets to Fiddler. <laughs> I do every night. You do? Well, you're going to go dress like that? Yes. Have fun with life. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what it's all about, boy, Jake? Mark Shallow. Let's get back to the action. This is for $1,000 and a complete line of OP wear. Our first runner-up. Is she wearing shoes and socks? When you're talking about bikini contests in Hawaii, you're talking one name, Schulenberg. Congratulations to our... Her name is actually Miss OP Hawaii? That's quite a coincidence. Good from far, but far from good. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it date this girl. Whoa, quick cuts. Is this a flashback? I don't remember this scene in Easy Rider. Freeze it. Could there be more names up there? Yeah, I think you make the leaderboard just by signing up for the tournament. And if your name's Maui and you're not running away with this thing, you're kind of a disgrace to your entire family. Compare your style with Peter Cabrinas. No, you compare your style to Mitch Gaylord's, Bart. He's making out with Gretzky's wife while you're judging low-rent beauty pageants. More aggressive, a little more radical, less, less fluent. Um, fluent? I, I think he meant fluid. Yeah, how would not speaking a language well hurt your windsurfing? Mine's a little more choppy and radical, but uh, you know, we're getting a lot closer. And the crowd is finding the best vantage point to see this Freeze it. From the when you're talking windsurfing fans, you're talking one person, this lady. I think she showed up because she thought she was going to get a hot meal. Coming up to the first mark now, it looks like Alan Cadiz is... They should release some tiger sharks, spice it up a bit. Hey, it worked for open water. Yeah, but they're all struggling here on the inside. 
It just seems like there's no wind at all. What can Now that's what we came to see. Yeah. Domino mother What happened out there to cause that? We rubbed down the back straightaway. Then I finally get in front of him. He just drives in the side of me, spins me out. That's about it. You have all collided and they're all falling in. They are stuck in a wind hole. It's Which is kind of like being stuck in a K-hole with less techno music. Does Robbie Nash get away from them? It looks like Tiratio is literally plowing over the other competitors. He's to oh, the humanity! Oh, wait. It's just wind surfers. I forgot. Whatever. They really don't want to jump their slalom boards. They're fragile and break easy. It's like the America's Cup, only smaller. America's shot glass. Now has lead over Ken Winner. Poor old Maui Meyer and Richard White are still... This guy just take a lesson 20 minutes ago? Yeah, if I were him, I'd just give up, head back to the shore, and steal some of that OP swag. No one's even guarding the truck at this point. On the outside, it looks as though he's heading back in towards the beach. Of course he is. He's got a date with Miss OP. And she's bringing the horse. I can't understand why he would just completely drop out of the competition. No, it really doesn't make sense to him. Perhaps we're going to find out when he gets back into the beach. Or perhaps he will take his secret to the grave. Alan Gadis probably still in the lead over Robbie Nash. Ken Winner. More like Ken Loser. The underside of the board. In fact, it doesn't, the board doesn't belong to Ken Winner. He borrowed it off Carla Weber. Ken he borrowed it from Carl Weathers? Better fix that crack before Apollo finds out. Day for him. Hey, Carla, I got some great news. You gonna buy me a new board? No, but I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance. I think Carla's really rather happy, actually, because she knows she's gonna get a brand new board out of it. For Do you know how much an Alan Cadiz rookie goes for? In mint condition? 30 cents Canadian, b****. Pumping the sail to try and get extra speed. Alan with a clean jive through the inside buoy. Alan Cadiz from Kyle. Good. We're finally going to get some keen insights from a championship windsurfer. Competition, didn't you today? Yeah, I'm real happy about it. Is Alan trying to imitate Bart? He's mocking him. Well, I got lucky at the last mark and jived on the face of a big wave, and once I got over that. Yeah, that's great. Now tell us how you made a girl with your computer, Wyatt. I don't know about you, Jay, but I've got all kinds of problems with this leaderboard. First, look at the fact that all these people are from the USA, but this guy's from North Carolina? <laughs> well, how about the fact that Ken Winner is nowhere near the leaderboard? <laughs> or even worse, that Ron Fifth Place finished sixth. <laughs> when we come back, we'll take a look at some land surfing, Dogtown and Z-Boy style. Stay with us. <laughs> Cheap seats. Now, if you've seen the documentary Dogtown and Z-Boys, you know that skateboarding can be a raw display of rebellious creativity. A revolution on wheels, challenging the very establishment of our stale society. However, what we're about to show you is the first ever American Skateboard Championship from 1965. The full embodiment of that stale society. This is Anaheim, California. Cone capital of the world. This is back when Tim Salmon was a rookie, when Leif Garrett had hair. Of the first American skateboarding championship. But the 389th Native American skateboarding championships. Come on in here, Skip. Or we'll just cut to you awkwardly. That's what we do around here. Championship, which we're covering here today. And Skip, uh, this is a, a really a Mehdi really tears up the half pipe in his blazer and turtleneck. Yeah, he's way too old to be called Skip, unless he's the captain of a boat. Or one of the five hosts of Real People. Uh, it started here with surfing and skiing. Uh, people with athletic ability in these events. It combines uh, not only surfing, skiing, but also roller skating. It's Don't forget auto racing and tetherball. Uh, really encouraging the athletic uh, end of it here today. And we're only sort of encouraging the apathy and drug culture that comes along with it. The Angels, who are now residing in Los Angeles, move here in 1966. And, and they, they won't make the playoffs until 1979. We're going to have now the competition in the girls' free skateboarding. And I think free? you'll enjoy it. Are they naked? Holy helmet! Is she skateboarding or getting shot out of a cannon? Palisades is 14 years old. Let's see what Donna has in store for us in this tricks competition. Right off the bat. Welcome to skateboarding, America. Are you ready for this action? Grab both hands. Radical. Look at that. Look at that. A squat position. Very difficult. Dude, you got to rewind that. Look 
I can't believe she nailed the squatting Dutchman. Nobody's ever rocked that move in championship competition. Yeah, if he were alive today, Rick Smits would be so proud. He's not dead, he's just back in the Netherlands. Is there a difference, Rand? I know a bulldog that can do that. Marking the board. Awesome! Go to the nose. It's very difficult. Was the skateboard invented the day before this competition? Yes, that'd be hanging ten on a surfboard and they'll raise the end on a skateboard and call it a nose. You know what's sad? There are at least 53 people competing at this. Nice routine by Very nice. She Donna obviously Ketch. had this one planned and it's going to go. Damn. I was hoping we were going to get a chance to see some of that Donna Cash improvising we've heard so much about. You could teach a ferret to do that. And that, that was her big finishing move. She could have at least just kicked the board into her hands like Marty McFly. She has to beat 14, which was the previous uh, total. Oh, man, I knew Dad wasn't going to show up. He hates me. All right, I think we need to go back and judge the judges. And before we start, it's nice to see that all the judges received the wacky hat memo before the competition. <laughs> all right, let's start with judge number one over here, okay? It looks like he's giving her one half of five, which is two and a half, in which case he should have given her a two and a half. I think he meant to give her five and a half. It's just confusing, and that's why I'm forced to give him three and a half. <laughs> Now, judge number two, correct me if I'm wrong, but he looks remarkably like one of David Lopan's goons from Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> and that was a great movie, so I'm going to give him a seven. And then there's old tricks on the end here. He kind of looks like someone's limo driver who's wearing his daughter's T-shirt. <laughs> He's dressed it down a little too much. If you're going to judge a skateboarding competition, you better put on a blazer or a turtleneck. I give him just a half. <laughs> and finally, we must judge the greatest judge of all, Judge Reinhold. <laughs> For his role and vice versa, I'm going to give him a score of hilarious. <laughs> and a half. <laughs> Stay with us. More cheap seats after this. Now, Bart Connor, I know I don't care about, but skateboarding, that could be a different story. Well, let's find out. Just the facts, do you care? Do you care that there are more than 16 million skateboarders in the United States alone? Do you care that skateboarding accidents account for more than 100,000 visits to the emergency room each year? Do you care that skateboarding is ranked the third largest participant sport among 6 to 18-year-olds according to an online poll? Did you also know that it's the seventh most popular sport among 85 to 90-year-olds? Wow, octogenarians. They're more active than you think. The more you know about old people. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. everybody. I'm Bud Palmer at the Carlsbad Skate Park located... Get the man a decent chair. Get him the hell out of Brian Adams' video shoot. Here to cover the world. Uh, guys, we're trying to tape a show up in here. Just ignore them, bud. We're running out of daylight. 65, 66, and then just completely die. However, here in California and all over the country, there's been a tremendous... Look out, camera! Oh, God! ...specific reason. One... Wait a minute. I gotta see that again in slow-mo. The kid wipes out and nails the cameraman, and Palmer is unfazed. He even stops the rolling skateboard without missing a beat. And it was this performance that earned Bud Palmer a retroactive SB. This is Kim Cespedes who's in the finals, and uh, Kim, these... Help me, Hobie One. You're my only hope. Um, yeah. Check out his grip on her shoulder. Welcome to Neverland. Hola, senor creepy. Is that the hardest part of the course? Yeah, the top is the hardest. Yeah, definitely the top. Top's definitely the hardest. Dad lets me skateboard slow on a driveway gear. Yeah. Thank you. The other finalist. What's so funny, O'Neill? Because I know it ain't Palmer. Is Ellen a Lilliputian or a Wood Sprite? I think she's an Ewok. Balance in the center of your board. Towards the bottom, you can start pumping, but up here, you just have to be really careful. Oh, just buy the damn Thin Mints, Palmer, and she'll leave you alone. And there's Ellen O'Neill's mother and father. Freeze it. Yeah, I would have pegged these two for having a skateboarding daughter or granddaughter. How old are they? Ellen O'Neill, all in red, in blue, closer to you. Someone's Casio watch is beeping. And they're off! 
Ellen O'Neill gets a good start. Huh? Oh, she knocks out what? One, two, three columns, she's disqualified. Ellen then why is she still slaloming? I, remember she can come I bet her parents are psyched. Now they can beat traffic home and make the 4 p.m. dinner buffet at the country kitchen. Slalom championship, but what motivates a skateboarder like Ellen O'Neill? You have to let the child express themselves in the way that they're best able to. Is this an old Raisin Bran commercial? Our Ellen likes flipping us the bird, and we encourage her. She apparently needs all young people. Emmanuel in the halfpipe, now playing on Cinemax. She did make a commitment to Christ about four years ago. and She could have also made a commitment to practicing more, and then maybe she wouldn't have been disqualified. It just began to happen. A man at the Long Beach contest asked her, where do you think skateboarding is going to take you? And she said, wherever God wants it to. But hopefully someplace cool, like but Vegas. She, believes. she doesn't know. Uh, she doesn't make a big production out of it, but she... Sure, doing a handstand down the street on a skateboard isn't a big production at all. That's very low-key. She hopes to be a, a girl's probation officer. That's Every little girl's dream. Goal. Getting ready for the start. Where'd they get their countdown sound? The emergency broadcast system? Get it! Yeah! Fair start. Ellen's off very well. Huh? Knocks down what? one, two, three. She's huh? disqualified again, Dennis. I guess that whole turning her skateboarding over to Jesus thing really didn't pan out. Come to think of it, though, I could totally see Jesus skateboarding. Long hair, loose clothing, loves 311. And I can't think of a better way to end our Fun in the Sun episode of Cheap Seats than with two skateboarding rebels walking up a hill and talking about Jesus. I can. <laughs> that is better, because those gals were literally looking up at the Lord. I mean, if they were any more religious, they'd be newly appointed federal judges. <laughs> and speaking of unfair sentencing, let's give out some cheapies. All right, GB for least extreme competitor. I'm gonna go with Donna Cash. I've seen better moves on a board when my mom irons. Number one, she's my mom too. And number two, you're missing the point, Rand. Donna was extreme, extremely boring. But I'm gonna go with this woman, old socks and pumps. Hey lady, you're at a bikini contest. The point is to show as much skin as possible. No wonder you place below the horse. All right, that'll do it for us. But before we go, we'd like to take a moment and apologize to early skateboarding. Yeah, we took you guys to task a little hard, and that may have been unfair. Because we feel like with the proper marketing campaign, early skateboarding can rip it up just as much as the X Games. Don't believe us? Check this out. Get ready, punks, for the wildest show hard wheels, 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 wheels. It's early skateboarding, and it's radical. Check out these moves, but don't try them at home unless you want to get f***ed up. Early skateboarding, ride or die. Let's get it straight.